Hi guys, this is Colleen in the crafty basement. I am so sorry I am late. I was wondering if you still are here. So um, let's uh, straighten this thing out, and uh, we're going live with with little lines in my lives in my lines in my viewing yeah, area. But we are going to be making slider card tonight, and you know what? It's so funny. I saw this card, and I was like, oh my gosh. It's dark, but there's no lines. So I don't know what to say. Let's turn <laughs> the lines the line. out. Okay. A slider card. Here's one of them here. And basically, it slides up and down to open. So it is a, a gatefold card. Remember gatefolds. And then it has this cute little slider mechanism. Love that word. I'm a word person. Um, oh, by the way, my name is Colleen. And uh, this is the Crafty Basement. And um, I've been struggling with YouTube. I used to do this on Facebook and didn't have any problems until the next day when I was trying to upload it to YouTube. And I'm wondering if I go back to Facebook and then just save it on YouTube because most of you guys see me on the rebound and not the night of. So I think that's just what I'm going to do is do Facebook. But anyway, so... Um, I'm my, hi, I'm, my name is Colleen Siasio. My business is called The Crafty Basement because we play around in The Crafty Basement. And what else? Um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is, I think, the fourth or fifth time that I've been on the YouTube live. And I'm having a lot of problems. Every week it's something new. So it's not like I'm repeating. It's not like I'm repeating. It's I'm my mistakes. I'm just being every week. It's something new. Oh, look, Jan's asking here. Hey, Jan, I just got on on YouTube. It's a long story. So anyway, huh, I want to show you the cards that I have made. I just well, you know, I love this paper and um. So before I show you any of the mechanisms, let me just show you the card that I made and I'll show you again at the end. This is made with this cute little paper and this guy, he was on the edge of the paper. He's missing his arm. So I put a little bird there and you'd never know that the bird wasn't really sitting on his shoulder. I'm gonna talk about these all later. Oh, look at this. This is another one. And then this is the original one that I made. I'm showing you how to make them. But the first thing you have to do is we are using our designer series paper. I was telling my friend Jan today, I just love designer series paper. DSP, pretty paper, scrapbook paper, all kinds of names. And I must have enough DSP to insulate a house. So basically what you want to do here, I know that's a shine. You want to find designer series paper. This is the um, hues of happiness paper. And this is great one to use for this card because it has a big focal area. You can cut this out and use that and then use the other papers that are in here to make the decorations on the side. So this one is an excellent one to use. And what are you saying, Colleen? Okay. On this one, I picked out this paper here and I used the heart as a focal point. So I thought, you know, and then inside I didn't use the stripes. Oh, I did use the stripes on here. So designer series paper, there you go. And then we've got um, this one here and I didn't bring any of the paper. It was just basically this kind of thing and it had these little teeny flowers. This is just a grouping of flowers that I cut out freehand by using the DSP. That's what I love about this. Um, let me see, the one we're making tonight, you've seen this paper because I was showing you this before, and it has, I'm sorry about the glare. Let me take this. Blah! If it's not glare, it's something else. So anyway, I took this because it's got all these little characters on here and it's upside down. <laughs> like this little guy here you can use any of these little figures as your um and we're using this one so we'll see later as your focal point 
the one here, this designer series paper, had that cute little bear and the fox, and I used, I don't know, this is the stupid glare again, but I used the, the um, here, where am I going? Up here. I used this bear and I cut him out. Huh. But I, I think I told you this already. This guy over here, I hated not to use him, but he's he lost his arm. So I cut out this bird. I should have cut, anyway, I cut out a bird wherever the bird is. There he is down here. So it would be up here. Cut this bird out. I cut his legs off and I put it on his shoulder. And then I used some of the this paper behind it. I cut out the leaves, the grass on the bottom here just to make a focal point. That's, that's, and I just used hello because there was a big gapping hole there. So, um, oh, here's that paper I used to cut out the, the flower part. Uh, I was thinking this is the new paper that they have in our, oh, they're doing something where you can um, just order for a limited time or something like that. But you could use these flowers and cut them out, which is pretty cool. And I like all the other things here. They have leaves in there, but here's another um, rose, a wild rose that you could use. Here's all this down here you could use. Can you see that? I don't know. But anyway, so the, again, that's the DSP. This is the one with the hearts. So we looked at this. We looked at this. And then um, the other one, too, is this is from the Gnomes from Christmas. And I was like, oh, my God, not all of things have here. You don't even have to use a gnome. You could use a bull moose or a cute little, she looks like that um, little doe on uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Clar Clarissa. I don't know, something like that. Or little foxes. Here's little birds. So you could make little panoramas with um, the designer series paper. So you don't even need the gnomes. But I... I just think it's great. Not all designer series paper will have a focal point, but, or will have something that's able to be used as a focal point, but, um, but, um, <laughs> most, most of it does. So you could make something up or use a stamp set to do it, but I'm not always a hundred percent making stamp sets. I'm, or making, the focal points. I love it when it's done for you. That is the best. So like this one, I use the daisies and actually this was a scratch piece and I, oops, his tail got, and I cut all those pieces. Out. I just think this is adorable. Well, we are going to be making this card. And as I showed you before, it's a mechanism card. And basically it's a gatefold, meaning it opens like this. Oops, it went fuzzy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, not good. Why are you fuzzy? Tom says, just be patient and it might get better. Well, I'm not going to continue if it's going to be fuzzy. So if I bring it up higher and if I bring it slowly down, will it stay in focus? <laughs> I just learned a trick, huh? Take your glasses off. No, <laughs> that's not my trick. Anyway, this is a mechanism here that slides up and down. So it's not going to open like this and then it stays on there. You have to take this thing completely off. And then there's this mechanism here that has two little V's. See how those V's are? And then it slides right onto the card to close it. And I decorated the inside. I just took a piece and stuck it on the inside. Okay. So let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. Okay. The first thing you want to do is take a piece of designer series. No, this is just a piece of cardstock. And the cardstock is going to be cut to a regular half size, which is eight and a half by five and a half. But you're not going to score it in the middle. So don't do that first. And I know a lot of times they ask you to score it first, but you're not going to do that. Instead, you're going to score it at, and I brought my ruler here because I wrote all the dimensions down, and then I put it away. So this is at um, two and one eighth. So you're going to 
score it at two and one eighth and then score it on the other side at two and one eighth. Let me write that down. So five and a half. The instructions will be, not the instructions, but the dimensions will be in the description. It's not there now, because this is like a real live. And then score at two and one eighth score. Then you're gonna take your slices of designer series paper. And I really like this one with the umbrellas because we're gonna be um, doing something fun with that. And this is two inches. So the DSP is at two inches by five and a quarter and it's five and a quarter because you always want to take about it a quarter of an inch off so that you can make always nice borders and what I did to mine here after I scored it and and did a nice crease on it is um, I put my my middle piece on here and that's so you can write on it and that is um, four inches by five and one fourth four inches by five and one fourth. That's kind of a standard ins insert. And here it is closed. So now what I'm going to do is take my glue, which I have handy here, that I go back to see if I'm blurry again. No. So I'm gonna take my little umbrellas. This is so cute. I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. The um, umbrellas are shiny. That's what's fun about this designer series paper. And it also has these little raindrops. You see the little raindrops coming down? That's how you're gonna know which is the top and which is the bottom by the raindrops and which way they're falling. Remember, gravity makes raindrops come down. And the down part of a raindrop is the fatter part because it has more gravity pulling on it. I did not put enough glue on here around the edges, but that's okay. So again, two inches by five and a quarter. Why five and a quarter? Because you always kind of want to lop off about a quarter of an inch. Jan is here. Hi, Jan. Jan, you, you weren't here when I decided that YouTube is being a pain in the butt and I'm not having very much luck with it. So I think I'm going to go back to Facebook Lives and then um, just paste it, paste it. A little bit more than pasting but i'm putting it up on the youtube so if people want to watch it again they can because that's usually how people do it is they're watching it on as a replay which is just fine okay so right now the base of my card is um finished for now okay so i'm going to put that aside oh i did a little rain thing just to put here. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Okay, the next thing you want to work on is your mechanism. And this is the mechanism. You're going to need two pieces, actually, yeah, two pieces of of um, cardstock. And I use the heavy cardstock because you're going to be using this a lot. So it's at two and a half, two and a half square. I have two of those. So two and a half inch square for the mechanism. I'll put an M here for mechanism two and one half, and then you're going to square. I don't ever write that out. Are you kidding? It's a SQU. Just kidding. And then you're going to score it at um, one and one fourth. So it's in half. Score it and then give it a good. I never bring over my bone folder. Oh, well. Someday, someday my score will be here for me. Okay. So you have these two. They say in a th another one as well. I, however, did not use white, but the person who I learned this from used white so that you then, oh, you're gonna like take one and then take the other one and you're gonna butt them together. But Colleen, but Colleen, they don't stay together. Then you're going to put, here, am I gonna do it this way? a little bigger than I need it, but um, ha, ha, ha. so you're going to put glue on this side here and you're going to put your paper down on top of it. Right now you don't need, I'll just do it this way. Look at this. I can do it upside down, not hanging upside down. So today I went to see a wonderful concert with my friend Jan. It was a cellist and a piano player, a pianist, and they played three like amazing pieces. 
You're going to take your other one. It doesn't matter what side you put the glue on, just on the outside, not the inside. So I guess it is a side you have to worry about. Put it on. And then you're going to butt this. And if you see, I left a little bit of a border. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, not too bad. Okay. I'm going to sit here and talk to you for a while. Then what you're going to do is what I did is I took, oh, my focal piece is going to be on here. So right now, see, I had cut blue out to put on this side. Eh, doesn't matter, white will work. Now our mechanism is made. What we're going to do is take our focal point once we get that ready, and we're going to glue it on top of here, but we're not quite ready yet. Um, one of the gals who I was watching, believe it or not, this technique is like four people were doing it this week on their lives or their Facebook pages. And it was like, oh, my God. One was, I think, um, Terry Gaines. I think one was Rachel Tessman. Might have been um, also Karen Titus and someone else. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, one of the people who were making this mechanism, rather than glue it right down, they took it and they put scotch tape here. And I tried it on like um, cellophane tape, scotch tape. I know, don't call it scotch tape, that's not good. But they had butted them up and then they put a piece of scotch tape down the middle. You could do that if you want. And then they take their white piece or blue piece in this case and they glue it onto here. For some reason, I just didn't want to use tape. I, not that it's a sin or anything, but I just didn't want to do it. Oh, I remember what. Okay, so that's one way that you can do it. I didn't. I just basically put my glue on there whew, and put it there. So our focal point, they're, all of mine are all the same size. You could make this however you want, but it is three inches. I'm going to put FP. FP for focal point is three inches square for the big one. Then the next one down is going to take off. How much, guys, do we take off? You're right, a quarter of an inch. So it's going to be three, two, and three fourths because I took, and that's another square. If you wanted to, um, like in this one, I uh, layered it. I took off one fourth of an inch, one eighth of an inch. So it was two and seven eighths for the layer if you wanted to put a third layer on which I think is so like much nicer. <laughs> this one is one that, that I did. This one I did another one with the inside with the extra layer. I just like those extra layers. And this one I did not. However, on this one, when I was putting it on, the slider part, <laughs> you're going to be so amazed. Instead of putting it on square, I put it on like that, whatever like that is. Jan, you're my one viewer for today. But anyway, we had a wonderful time at this concert. It inspired me. I think I'm going to start um, cello lessons again. I quit about two years ago because all I could do was make the cello screech. Well, I am going to do better this time. I used the stimulus money that we got from the government and I bought a cello. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. That was just a different way of putting it on. So here I've got again, three inch blue and a three and a quarter inch white. And I'm going to decorate the front of it because it's going to be my focal point. I could put it on sideways, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stick to this way. So I've got little Mr. Rabbit here. Mr. Rabbit, you ever hear that song? Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, your ears are mighty long. Yes, sir, they were put on wrong. Anyway, and here I've got a little piece of raindrop paper that I thought would be cute there. And you know what would be even cuter? Can you hold on a second? I'm going to go grab my um, brush and some balmy blue. I'll keep singing to you. Your ears are too long. Yes, sir, they were put on wrong. Every little child could shine, shine, shine. Whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, I found Winka Stella. That'd be amazing to do too. These are called blending brushes. 
I don't know what I called it, but it's kind of like a sponge dauber, but different in the fact that you can add color to the background. Um, sponge daubers are a little bit um, more crude. This is very, very soft look to it. So if I take everything off, open up my stamp pad, like a lipstick, they say, or a compact. Well, I think I remember because my mom would use one, but I don't know how anybody younger than me, and I'm kind of old. Okay, so I've got the end here. I put the in a circular motion, but you want to get a bunch of it on. You also don't want to put it onto your paper right away. You want to kind of dop, dop, dop it. And then I'm going to go around in a circle here eh, for some reason but I'm gonna basically put some color onto the background. So if you didn't wanna use color, or if you don't have this, this set also came out with um, an embossing folder that has raindrops, and that would have been very cool if I had embossed raindrops on this card. Oh, hey, look at this, Colleen. You can turn it upside down. I'm always good at finding a solution to whatever things that go wrong I can fix it they should call me mr. fix it except I'm a miss anyway do you know that doctors in um, England don't want to be called doctors I read this somewhere they want to be called something else because of American doctors I don't remember that it's one of these little snippets I read on Facebook so here I've got some color on here I'm going to take this little piece of rain and I'm going to put it on the side so that it has decoration. Check out those colors. Isn't that amazing? I think it's um, Flirty Flamingo and Mango Medley. And speaking of Flirty Flamingo and Medley, Mango Medley, Stamping Up is coming up with the color refresh, meaning they're going to get rid of some colors, bring back some in colors as regular colors which will be pretty interesting. So if you're a demonstrator on Tuesday, they are putting the new catalog up on up live so you can check it out. So you can join if you want to under me, Colleen Siasio. Look for me when you do that. Um, again, you, I mean, not again, but you see the, there it is. The raindrops on here are shiny. So I found the Wink Estella when I was looking for my brush. Okay, on this little guy, I put dimensionals because then he'll pop up. Is anybody else sick of winter? I think that's why I like this set so much. Singing in the rain because if it's raining, it can't snow, right? That's right. It can't snow. Okay. So here I am. I'm going to overlap him. See, even that... Okay, overlap them a little bit on here. I'm not going to put any words on here. I think one of them I put hello, but not in this one. Now this one I'll take the Wink of Stella. Let's hope that it's the clear one. It is, because I have one that's gold. I'm just going to, oops, I, <laughs> I unscrewed it instead of pulling it off. <laughs> okay, uh, you can't see this, but I can. But it is all shiny, so I'm going to add shine along in the puddle. I'm going to put shine on the wraps. And I'm just going to put shine here because I can make it look like it's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. I better baby songs for the new baby in our house. Not in our house, but in our lives. I did take that off. How come it didn't stick? There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to put this onto our mechanism. I'm not going to put glue on this side. I'm going to put glue on here. I laugh. I'm laughing because I didn't last time or whatever I did. I almost put the focal point on sideways and then it wouldn't slide down. I just So I'm laughing at myself because those are things that we do when we're having a good old time and rocking out to Billy Joel and 
That's the kind of music we play here in the Crafty Basement. Billy Joel and um, Elton John and the Beatles. I do like, um, I'm not America, but, oh, what's their name? I don't remember. Horse with no name. Is that America? Okay. Now, in order to get this, I was going to go, oh, let's see if we can do this. Well, I don't think so. I'm going to turn this so that his feet are down. So I know that that's up and down. And I'm going to put this on like this. Now, if I had used the blue, you wouldn't really have seen the white, but nobody's really going to care. Nobody's really going to care. Okay. Our mechanism is here. I did not do anything to the middle, but if I did, I think I would. They have um, a stamp with rain clouds. I think I'd put rain clouds up here. And put your friend. I'm friends with you in any kind of weather. So I was having trouble putting this on. So I put on one side of the V here, and then I just kind of closed it and bended it here. And then it sticks on. The other problem I was having was that it kind of puffs up. And they all puffed up. And I'm trying to figure out, is it, I think it's because of the thing in the middle that you're going to have to leave a little bit of a gap when you're um, putting your, here, let's see. When you are, so maybe instead of two and um, putting the score line at two and an eighth, maybe it should be two and one sixteenth. <laughs> really get you guys thinking. There we go. So here's our little slider card. It is just adorable in my opinion. So I should look up when my next class is 738. Let's see. Here's my calendar and card class. Oh my gosh, it's this Saturday. This Saturday I'm doing the um, not singing. I keep trying to say singing this. The playing in the rain class. I have two people coming. It's at 930 in the crafty basement. So if you can come, RSVP to Colleen Siasio at gmail.com. There we go. Here I'm going to show off those things again. Um, here we've got the playing in the rain. This is a one they had in the catalog that was a Valentine one. This is my favorite one, but you can't get it anymore. The zoo one, except it's farm and not zo zoom, whatever. And this one, I don't remember. It's six by six. And I can't remember where it's from. But if any of this floral paper, if it has bunches of flowers, you can cut out a flower. I think I thought I made more than just four, but I guess not. And this one just says, hello. There we go. There they are. <laughs> there we go. And I'm sorry I had such a hard time, but I think I'm going to stop doing um, Facebook Live, or not Facebook, but this lives and go back to Facebook Lives and then just upload them to YouTube. So have a great week. I will see you on next Tuesday. And whether it's just uploaded or if you come to Facebook Live at Colleen in the Crafty Basement. Thanks very much. And then I go over here and I say, end stream. I hope you all have a great week. Bye-bye now.